public furious as Harry teams up with Ursula von der Leyen for new campaign, Trashy Duke fails soon. Prince Harry has teamed up with Ursula von der Leyen for a new campaign following the end of the Paralympics. Great Britain retained second place at the Paralympics with 124 medals, including 41 gold, 38 silver and 45 bronze. Now Harry is trying to keep the success of the Games going with a new We the 15 disability initiative for his Invictus Games charity, which helps wounded servicemen. In the new video, the Duke of Sussex spoke about a day where no one is held back from achievement. The Invictus Games Foundation tweeted, Our patron joins leaders of organizations across the world as part of hashtag We the 15, celebrating the launch of the campaign as the at Paralympics closes. This is just the beginning. President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen also commented on the campaign. She said, a movement to make the world fairer, more just and more equitable. A number of other leaders and prominent figures also speak during the video. It comes after Duke of Sussex blamed masses of misinformation for vaccine hesitancy. Harry made a surprise virtual appearance at the GQ Men of the Year Awards, where he presented a prize to Professor Dame Sarah Gilbert, Professor Catherine Green and the team behind the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine. He delivered a speech urging governments to do more to vaccinate poorer countries, warning until every community can access the vaccine and until every community is connected to trustworthy information about the vaccine, then we are all at risk. The Duke said people were being overwhelmed by masses of misinformation, leading to hesitancy over the jab. As people sit in the room with you tonight, more than a third of the global population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. That's more than 5 billion shots given around the world so far, he said. It sounds like a major accomplishment and in many ways it is, but there is a huge disparity between who can and cannot access the vaccine. Less than 2% of people in the developing world have received a single dose at this point. And many of the healthcare workers are still not vaccinated. We cannot move forward together unless we address this imbalance as one. At the same time, families around the world are being overwhelmed by masses of misinformation across news media and social media, where those who peddle in lies and fear are creating vaccine hesitancy, which in turn leads to divided communities and eroding trust. This is a system we need to break if we are to overcome COVID-19 and the risk of new variants. Harry hailed the team behind the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine, who received the Heroes of the Year award, as heroes of the highest order who have done their part. They are our nation's pride and we are deeply indebted to their service. For the rest of us, including global governments, pharmaceutical leaders and heads of business, we have to keep doing our part, he said. That must include sharing vaccine science and supporting and empowering developing countries with more flexibility. Where you are born should not affect your ability to survive when the drugs and know-how exist to keep you alive and well. The Queen also sent her congratulations to Paralympic competitors from Great Britain and Northern Ireland as she praised their inspirational commitment and dedication, adding their performances have lifted the nation. In a statement, the Queen said, I offer my warm congratulations to Paralympic athletes from Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and indeed to the athletes of all Commonwealth countries, on their enormous success at the Tokyo Games. The commitment, dedication and adaptability shown by you, and your support teams, during the exceptional circumstances of the last 18 months, has been inspirational. Your performances have lifted the nation and your triumphs been celebrated by us all. I send my very best wishes to all those who have contributed to the success of these memorable games.